Hello there everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series in which we are playing now as the Guardians, which I don't think I've ever played as before. We're led by Cardinal Scott. He's an isolationist, a fortification master. Looking pretty decent. My brothers, those of the Waste, wish to exploit and use our holy technology. Let us worship and pray to the great machine. Let us protect it. Let us become a guard against the unholy will of the infidels. The Guardians know not of their history, what has transpired in the years after the Great Fire. Legends still have war with the God Machine, and their ancestors are lowly soldiers in this war. The Holy being destroying th their evil leadership before it retreated into a great pit to recover from its wounds. Leaving its armies lost, and the ancestors awestruck, bowing to protect its towering citadel built into the side of the Esmeralda Valley, now known as the Guardian Citadel. The Guardians stockpile technology, practicing a xenophobic defense doctrine, shooting anyone who may come cl too close to the citadel, placing red flags to warn innocent travelers of its borders, inadvertently becoming a trade hub, as the flock is forced to accept trades of food although not with direct interaction. The divine voice of the machine speaks to Scott through whispers in the halls of the citadel, recently telling him it is time to search for the great pit, aided by the calls of, for help from the Lost Hills Cardinal, is possessed, preaching the beginning of a new chapter for his brothers, hoping to bring them closer to the god. But we're down on our luck. The wasting can be hard on those unready to survive its trials. Rumors of the old world. Whispers of a place. Whispers of a treasure. Speak no evil. Hear no evil. When Maxon's radio calls were sent out across the wasteland after the Great War, not all of its army detachments agreed with Maxon's orders and archaic doctrines. One such few detachments were the Guardians, who had sought to develop their own accords. While they shared the same concern over technology, dangerous in the wrong hands, rightful in theirs, they also believed that the words held more power. <coughs> Everyone has a voice. <clears throat> Everyone has ideals. But not all are fair or just, so, and so easily can destruction form from wayward commands, especially when imposed upon the weak-minded. Thus the Guardians cut off communications with Lost Hills, traders, and even the rest of the wasteland in fear of corruption and taining their wills. Led by the steadfast Cardinal Scott, he plans on guiding the Guardians through their missions. With him, the nonsense of the world will drown. But an ear to the ground never hurts engaging decisions. Well, honestly, I like more stability personally. War sports not bad, but if we can help out our stability, huh? Let's go with stability. The treasures of the TV town, the secrets of Channel Four, of Carousel. It will be ours. And we have Bunker Blues here, which is pretty normal for a power armor nation, and which we are a power armor nation. Which is thank God I love power armor. But gold and quagmires. The Guardians were no exception to learning about the rumored treasure of the valley. Anything from the outside was trouble as is, and Cardinal had begun to suspect that this treasure was just another ruse, another fairy tale that lured in the weak. But his ambition for progress was an ever-burning hunger. Over the years, the numbers had dwindled. The newer flock of Guardians yearned for the outside, many having died to see it. Between his unwillingness to budge from sacred protocol and his fear of growing unruliness, Cardinal came to a compromise. Expeditions deeper into the valley for this treasure would be sanctioned with that Cardinal hope for some peace of mind, if not the truth of the treasure itself. The expeditions proved fruitful, but alas, nothing was found. Uh, lessons were, of course, learned. Um, the bonus, honestly? Lessons were learned. Oh, but what do we want to break out? Oh, hmm. um, you know, I'm going to go with Army XP and use it immediately for this, because it gets a little bit, tiny bit more um, XP gain. So. Production, civvies, workshops, hacking terminals. There was an old production network here long ago. By hacking into some terminals, we can try to reboot it. Configure the old factories to make the tools we need in the gray static of yore. Channel 4 had been an enigma for years. The leaders before Cardinal had denounced it, claiming it had a demon's lure. But the Cardinal had learned from their mistakes and their ignorance. It was not a lure, it was a test, a trial. Abundant with technology, no doubt. For what power could orchestrate a show uh, that ran on day in and day out, entailing the lives of fake people? A challenge of a mystery would be, but Cardinal favored his odds for the spoils. Everything strange happens in the valley. Uh, I like that political power. So, scavengers, the old bot stops. Before the Great War, consumers would go to these little stations to repair and purchase their own little personal machines. Now, a lot of them don't even function. No reason we can't trip a few of the metals they had stored underneath them. Nice. Yeah, we're actually doing okay on scrap, but I wanted the political power anyways. Uh, we're not going to go anywhere, so 50 more political power. Also, we're using Oral Blues, Oral Blues, take expanded Oral Blues, generic uh, decisions revamped or expanded or something like that. Uh, radio, fast justification. Um, I might be it. And maybe Old World Blues bitches formable, so. But we also have work worshipping technology. Not bad. Technology can never be in the hands of those dastardly wastelanders. At, la at least, that's what our friend Cochise tells us at any rate. And we have chaotic conflicts. The conflict, or chaotic conflicts, guardians are engaged in is in making it difficult for other groups to effectively send us aid. 
We have humanitarian scientists, and we're increasing our power so we get even more PP. Because we love PP. Yo, tactics. Found a little magazine. Let's try to put tactics to use. So, with that in mind, we have no outsiders. Oh god. Oh god, a simulation RPG factor. Well, whatever. Uh, but we do have four research slots, and we're actually decent here. We actually have advanced levels of infantry equipment, support equipment, and power armor, so I'm feeling feeling alright. Uh, brother Scribe, Political Mastermind. Ooh. like that a lot. Surveyor, not bad. I like these guys too. Military Theorist is also very good, but we're going to go and grab the Political Mastermind. I would just want to max out that political power. Uh, I'm blowing up debris. Sure, why not? Lots of junk around here. Let's make some space. Derelict Raider Gear. Some Raiders long ago used to prowl this place. No reason we can't take the weapons they left behind. Planning our attack. Looks like there are other groups in the valley as well. We will need to plan a strategy to face them. Yeah, pretty much. And also to let you know, we are on a historical, so we don't know what's going to happen. The NCR could blow up. The Legion will probably blow up. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to see what happens here. Go tactics, yes, please. Reference panels is very nice. And keep working on construction. Because we have only four divisions. But they're, you know, okay. We have infantry tank combo with generic with anti-tank. But we have Brothers Grim. Power armor, which I love, which is only 10 combo with. Which I'd rather have than not have. So, oops, my bad. And what else? We have Peace Over War, Country Management. Uh, I'm going to wait. As much as I want more stability, we need more army XP. What do we have here? Weapons Expert, that's pretty good. Distinguish Paladin, that's not bad too. That's not bad, not great. Recon, not bad too. Decryption, more speed, chaos in the battle of territories, cool. General wait and see. More hardness for your power. I mean, you lose a lot of planning speed, but you get more max planning and defense. I like both. I like the attack. But this is pretty good too. Hardness works on both attack and defense, though. Oh, hello. Who's justifying on us? The Rogue Rangers. Oh, no. Where are we at? So just in case we're going to save, we got a ton of political power right now, which is nice. Let's go and grab him. And decorate a hero, that's not bad. I like this one, but I always choose the Golden Gecko for even more political power too. I'll improve country management as well. Running out of political power here. Oh no, actually what do we have here? Oh, why are we not making more power? It's not good power armor, but whatever. Base weaponry. Uh, Anti-tank rifles, one, two, we need three. Uh, and then four. We're not going to use this for this campaign. Well, now we can use more energy. Followers of the Apocalypse? Well, I don't like them, but they're actually pretty useful, so I'll let them come for now. now. They have only three divisions, or three tiles for us to defend against. This is going to get hit pretty hard. The center one's probably going to get hard too, but... I'll have to wait and see. Uh, 1.27 is not enough. Kind of sucks. Maybe we need another general here as well. Field Commanders? Servos, Brothers Grim. He's leading the power armor. He's a bunker kid. Makes sense. Hmm. Heavyweight. Give him a recovery rate. Nice. Tool procurement. Major Glock stockpile. The raiders who take refuge just outside our borders. Oh, this place has some thing. Major Glock stockpiles. Well, it looks like there are at least like 100 guns in this stockpile. This looks like it lasts for a good while. Use these guns for big battles. Less defense, but more breakthrough. Let's say that one so we make more. Let's do that one. Uh, without a true bank, it sits in the wasteland. Many are forced to leave their caps in random little stash across the wasteland. We are lucky to find a few on our last patrol. Mission coming storm. Call sign Rianon. Uh, wake up, Carnal. I need you once again. A storm's brewing over Esmeralda. I need you to blow it away. Find the source. So this is not good over here. Very worrisome. So they got uh, these guys. They have anti tank too. Oh my god. He's also another isolationist. Oh, that looks really cool. Oh boy. Can't wait to play as them. Yeah, keep that power armor down here too. Especially in defense, that helps us out with core territory. Uh, I'll go ahead and improve the country management. We lose a little bit of political power, but <clears throat> I personally prefer the stability. 
Not good. Yeah, that's because it's a recruitable population factor too. Something we could probably use. Because there's never just enough wasteland manpower. Nice. Learning, level four. Very good. Lost Seals, community key. Lost Seals, a formal head of the Brotherhood of Seals, managed to send a communication through and to Guardian Citadel. It's been a few years since the old elders have tried to get in touch with us, but perhaps this proves that they may be willing to learn from the mistakes of their past. The elders are always up to something. Okay, nice. More stability and more political power. Not much more stability, but whatever. Um, description would be nice. Recovery would also be very nice. Amphitry equipment would be very good, too. Uh, but we have this as well. I like this one. But I always ask, what is most beneficial to us? Can we get down here? No. It would be nice to do this one. Soft attack. I like this one. Division defense. That immediately helps us on defense. So we're going to need that one. Is that a bad choice? I don't know. Maybe. We lost planning speed. Plan a little slower now. We have up to two to five divisions. I would like to attack here. Or we could attack there as well. Can you be on the attack? Can you do well on the attack? As we blow up debris. Are we making power armor? Yes, we are. That's good. Looks like we're just slowly going to get in there. Maybe. Yes, yes. Get that power armor in there. God, I could use more caffeine in my life. Oh boy. Then that's one. Alright, so let them spread out a little bit. They still have special forces, which is not good. Um, and they're going to immediately start attacking us like this, which is not good, but we should be able to hold out, especially with special forces right there. And we've got more reliability. It's a little hard to download this right. Whatever. Should be able to hold out. In theory. They established themselves, that's fine. Go and spend some political power on getting another civvy. Um, yeah, should be fine here. Once we get enough army XP, we'll expand. How much it costs to actually have them. Alright, so we have another division made, so that'll definitely help out. Something that I love. Throw that too now. Get in there and you should be fine. <clears throat> ah. And we just hurt our recruitable population factor. We get more breakthrough and organization, which is very nice. And rapid deployment, yes, please. Let them grind against us. We like it when they grind. We get some civvies with like almost nothing. More political power would be nice. Yeah, this would be nice. Establishing a foothold. Whether it is in victory, we can expand out from our bunker and solidify our presence in the wasteland. So basically, I've done all the focuses we can so far. Um, I don't know. In general, let me know in the comments below. Do you prefer to watch me? do all the wars, or would you prefer me to like move a little bit faster and like jump from when the war is actually over? Please let me know in the comments below, and because I sometimes like to know what you guys are thinking. So. And yeah, with that in mind, we will... I'll show you the war for now. Can you get here? If you can get here, and these guys can move up here too. Two, one, you can encircle the special forces there and destroy them. Coordinate enough, you can destroy their strength. They're really organization first, but whatever. I don't really know those vibes. We need more infantry equipment. You get here in Benton. Go here. Circle the special forces. Hopefully destroy them. As uh, they're going to be attacking our lines like crazy, like normal. And then we'll kind of go from there. Oh, you have another upgrade. Nice. Um, honestly, you're going to be this guy. We have more infantry than special forces, unfortunately. I would like to do that one, but you're gonna just continue leading special forces or uh, these guys for now. There. And once they're cut off, one circle will destroy. We might just be able to get to Outpost Mesa, but I'd rather just spend time getting this stuff done first. Oh, and they're attacking our power armor. Can they pierce us? I'd rather play it safe than sorry right now. There you go. So they can pierce us and they, we can pierce them, except uh, well, they kind of pierce our power armor, which is not ideal, but then again, like I said, our power armor is not superb. So now we get three political power a day. That is ridiculous. Yeah, 
right, so we'll get that division done. They'll probably make another division out, but then again, we have five. Hopefully, we're making a sixth one that'll come along too, so we'll have more divisions than them anyways in the end, which is super important, of course. Anything else war industrialist? Toothpick. I mean, we could. There's no one else we can really hire. Helps produce them faster, too. Well, not really not by much. Let's get some more manpower first. 90% is pretty good. Ah, see, I know they attack us, too. What you learning? Intelligent. How about? Ah, see, they have another division that they just pooped it out. Stonks, very nice. Come over here. <clears throat> we need more manpower. Beautiful. Let's have fun with this. Let's see what they do. They don't just do a generic attack. Go ahead. Uh, you go here. You go there. And see what you can do. No, you're going there. I want you to go here, here. Take out the supply points. And you should... Right now it's no supply. Oh, it's all we needed. Interesting. Cool. Sab, so, you want a foothold? Well, there isn't victory. We can expand out for more bunker and solidify our presence in the wasteland. Nice. Well, I'm going to do this anyways for now. It's going to be a little bit of a waste, but whatever. Uh, so then what's next after that? Train Vanguard. Oh, we could probably use the guns immediately. The population change is 3,000. Well, if we're going to go big, go home. Rural Medicines. New American Medical Journal, number 43. Excerpt from Surviving the Wilderness. The next day, we went out again and explored the upper reaches of the valley where we saw many wild animals. Thankfully, I knew what to look for in order to keep the wounds I have taken from growing infected. There's a local flower. Red leaves with a spike thorn and crushed before applying it on the wound itself. I could feel. The pain began to recede as I was able to fight off the infection in the nash, or gash. We made camp at a small creek near a small cave. I'm going to do this one because even though we lose the caps for a few days, we get more caps in the end. Uh, continue Codex Principles. What is this? Our nation, wholly in, or in part, is consisted of members and the Brother to Steel, and the Codex is well known among our people. Still, it never hurts to revisit it and make sure we're doing our best to carry on Maxon's legacy. Uh, I'll close out of that one. Game scavenging program, that's decent to do. We also form the Nevada chapter. With success found in Nevada, it's high time for the group to turn our eyes to the NCR and help save Lost Hills. Oh, we get a lot of cores. A lot of cores. Wow. I like it. I have to do that one. I just have to. Nice. Rural medicines. We should red white. Well, we should probably do that one faster. I'll do rural medicines first, I suppose. But then, really, supply runs, training vagabonds, with enough work and a few lessons, even the homeless can be put to use. That's very true. Doing all that stuff. We're gonna come over here and now start working on this stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Make us thicker because we like them thick. Sir Victorious and Navarro, good for them, I guess. Closure, nice. And we're gonna come down here as well to get more political power or research speed, I guess, first. Uh, training Vagabond Supply Runs. Hop in, we're grabbing guns and mission red white. Call sign Mono Widden. Mission report, how could things have gone this bad? It's something drawing these people here? These weren't part of a little plan, let's fix it. Nice, and actually we can close out of this too. Manpower is decent, five divisions, not enough. Never enough, of course. There you go. Rural medicines. Um, cities are nice. A broken brother, oh boy. Standing army's good, so that we can grab this one for daily army XP. It's very nice to have. Go and train over here. And I really want to get to Willcooked Army if at least possible. Uh, construction speed's nice. More breakthrough production. Search speed. Well, if we only have three, I guess we might as well choose that one. Why not? Nice. 
Is there anything here? Oh, no, we need scrap metal. I'll give you some a little bit of water too. Go into that water. Rip up again is not bad, but yeah, we don't really need it. Rapid deployment is something we definitely need. Flexibility of command. Which I do like using a lot of support units, in all honesty. Experience soldiers goes losses. Uh, that gives us more special forces to hit and run. I think I might just go with this direction. I usually like the other one, but it helps lower our losses overall, too. Yeah. Nice. Darn it. Rationalism. Just be rational, you know? Academia, hostile takeover, Petro Chico, military drills, the war bus. The war bus, as it's been called, is a pre war vehicle that our scammers has been using. When decked out in armor and filled with power full of fuels, it can really deliver a punch. Oops. Uh, the war bus. Uh, 15 army XP. Oh, this is a little bit more defense. Honestly, I don't mind doing this one, maybe. I guess there's, there's, there's an opening there. Really. Uh, I like being a little defensive first, so. There we go. As long as these guys can hold out, that's the most important thing. I might actually send two divisions over there instead. More army speed would be very nice, but we can still wait. Need more guns. I mean, growing crops, huh? I guess we can use more guns too, though. Junk rounds. The boys began working, making some junk rounds to put into the guns. We're going to need some more ammo as we had an extra day of work. The boys worked in silence, each taking turns with his weapon, diluting gunpowder and other regular amenities with stranger supplements such as sawdust. As it's not like anyone would notice, right? Oh. this. Mission Red White. We hope they can handle these guys. Do we have enough anti-tank? We should. Siege of Hidden Valley. They have power armor themselves, huh? Just a okay with me. Increase split power is fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, we made another power armor division. Very good. Well, let's see what we can do with the power armor. Defending against power armor, we should be okay. They do have enforcers, but we can pierce them anyway, so I'm not super concerned about that. Sons of Kaga is not super easy to play as, so they immediately don't start attacking us, which is good. Nice. Nice. As long as we take all the territory away from them, that's what I really care about. Junk rounds. Go into that one too. Glock stock about Gaston Glock's finest right here in Esmeralda buy it now. Four ninety nine ninety nine new Glock fifteen auto pistol. G seventeen four twenty nine ninety nine new Tech nine pistol nine millimeter. M nine three fifty nine ninety nine new round black backed fleck. F eighty six eight fifty nine ninety nine new bull pen eight millimeters. Yay! And a man company stockpile. Now this is this is the gun. And it is most certainly a tasty gun. A gun for the ages, if you will. I hope I get higher. Because we do like a little bit of a struggle. Hey, let's go to Welcome to Army. Nice. Democracy? Well, we don't really talk about that too much. Um, 79, and there we go. More research speed is always good, too.
Go and cut them off. I want to get more higher war score. Oh, we're at 52%. Nice. Well, as long as we're doing this like this, we'll get higher anyways. Nice. Very good. And nice. Go in. Go in. Keep them in place. 63 is good. Lock, 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 lock. When down, lock it up. Keep them all busy. Nice. Very good. Very nice. Beautiful. They have nothing left. That's the way we like it. Nice. Oh, they're gonna need four divisions down here, I think. Yeah, four divisions fully cover the front line. And then we'll deal with them. Growing crops. Amanda's Guide to Cultivation. In this chapter, I'm going to talk about how to grow crops on your land. The first up is the plant itself. This one's the easiest type of plant to cultivate, as you only need to give it a little water and some sunlight. Uh, it's also easy to grow flowers on top of it. This plant's called Xander root. It's basically kind of a root vegetable, as far as I know, unlike banana yucca, or yucca, which requires a lot of care. Xander root can be grown without any special sort of maintenance. So we finished off man company stockpiles. We're growing some crops. We've gone to war with these guys, and Esmeralda cigars. Hmm. Esmeralda Cigars, an all-natural blend of natural and artificial tobacco with a strong, fruity aroma. It's available in three different sizes, but the largest is the size you'll smoke. It was one of Esmeralda's only exports, and the remnants of a lo few lonely supply crates, lonely, lone supply crates, filled with these cigars, still are bound in this part of the wasteland. Nice, and expanding a foothold. With a hold of this deep in the Esmeralda Valley, few will be able to challenge or claim here. So what can we do? Can we just do, well, yeah, actually probably can just do generic attack or literally just walk into the capital. That sounds about right. Nice. Good job, guys. They literally don't have enough divisions where they can't even defend their own borders. Okay. And we've taken the capital again. And we won! 215. That's probably one of the easiest times I've ever taken them out. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. That was one of the fastest wars we've ever done and completed. As we optimize our trading, which ends up with getting us a few more caps. Exploration? Yeah, why not? That sounds like a good idea for us. Um, reconnaissance, out of supply. Uh, surveyor. You know what? Do surveyor. We can all, all automatically use them. And helps us with construction speed, too. So, In the meantime, we're going to train a little bit more. And you guys are already 20 combo, which is nice. We need to throw more stuff on there. But Cardinals, um, Special Forces, there you go. Yeah, as we we'll expand our foothold, and we'll do the cigars in just a little bit. Mass Communication. Starting Compliance. Data Limited Autonomy. Uh, medical Support Units. I like that one, and we will get there. Oh, I forgot to do this one, my bad. But we're not quite there yet, but we come back over here for this. And resistors. Resistor, I hardly know her. It's an old joke I used to say when I first started this. Um, empiricism is pretty good too. Uh, I want even more compliance, growth speed. Well, let's grab what else? Anything else around here? Pioneer kits. We don't really need pioneer kits, so because we already have power armor. Uh, Medcam support, integrated support. Start working on that. Adaptive chain of command, better recovery rate, reinforced rate, experience soldiers' losses, all very good stuff. Don't lower the tariffs. No, they're re they're high for a reason, or they're at a certain level for a reason. Help the settlements. So expand our foothold, and then uh, more stability would be nice. Strange communications. You should follow the signal. They don't on carousel. Much as a band of marauders lay siege to the once peaceful little town. Will four double o double eleven 
Well, actually, just love and will be able to survive the onslaught? Let's find out. The radios and televisions blurted out on repeat strange little infomercials that seemed to no longer be speaking of the past, but of the present. For the, but for the show of Carousel, was thought to be curiosity now. Now it means something a bit more. When you get to the bottom of this, travel to this TV town where it's being processed and try to put an end to this strange threat. We need a few more of that. Anything else we can make that we really need? Um... Maybe more power armor? Oh, I guess more guns, technically. You know what? You can never have enough guns, probably. Unless they want better unit leaders as well. So we got that. Follow the signal. Strange robots. I like the political power, though. Strange communications. Elder Francis formed the San Francisco chapter. As we march deeper into the Esmeralda, we find more and more signs of something odd in this place. Could it be the treasure we're searching for? Clear in the Rad Scorpion hovel. A group of rapid rabs, rabid rad scorpions that made themselves at home in our territory. We need to drive them out. A local waste center is offered to help us in this task. Um, you know what? Let's get some planes going. Strange robots. We found some robots on the outskirts of our land. They seem lost. They seem lost. We're unsure where to go or what to do. No reason we can't scrap them for parts. Oh, we should probably stop training before we do that. Cool. I'm not super worried with the power armor digging into them. Beautiful. This is, this is very easy. The Guardians are very easy to play as so far. I love it. Why is it so easy so far? You know what's this for here? Do that too. And then we're going to get a lot of army XP. Claim in TV? Uh, claim in the TV town. TV town's a miraculous place. I've wondered science and the potential of the future. Yet yeah, it's not our destiny to stay here. We have our own goals to push forward and towards and our own future to claim. Beautiful. I like it. Um, legacy of the Wanamingo. It seems the horde of Wanamingos was responsible for wiping out the raiders that used to live here. Few remember what these creatures even look like in life, but their bones are still terrifying enough to inspire fear in most men. Nice. Very nice. Um, sure. I do like me some gliders. Ooh, the fall of Diana. Goodbye, Diana. You really didn't have a chance, did you? No mutants, no undesirables. I want to keep it like that. Here. Uh, oh, why not? And this one, Flyboy. Better production units, why not? Alright, so let's come over here. It's a little ahead of time. I'll come over here and I'll do that and come over here and do this. And civilized tech would be nice too. Urbanization! Because why not? Oh, research like Jacob's proof! Daniel Jacob before the Great War became famous for providing the proof to a decades old theorem related to the limits of energy storage. The proof explains the way of transfer energized quarks to quantum null curves or curves. Saving space exponentially. While this proof would have been later purchased by a big MT company, we found a copy of the original on a hard drive within TV Town's central mainframe. That's too good to pass up immediately. Um, what is this? Kicking bad habits. Mission Tomorrow's Future. Call sign Prider. Mission Report. You pass go by. It's proven themselves just to accomplish a victory like this. Seek out the whole world. A world hole and await our return. Now we're getting stronger and stronger. Oh, yes, I like this. We gotta get down here faster. So we're gonna do this one next. Oh, yes. I'm actually gonna grab that real quick and then we're gonna continue expanding these guys. 20 combo width it is. And we have Skyans here too. Good old Skyans. We have enough money? Yes, we do. The moral stance of our scientists. Oh. Uh, when it comes to researching something, morality can make a big difference in the process is used. Sometimes it gets results in the pre war world. Scientists who torture innocent people for days and even weeks, other scientists, were disgusted by people like them and practice humanitarianism. Um, doing no harm to any other intelligent being, our research policy has so far been undecided upon recent evaluation. So, an official stance of radicalism, scientific neutrality, 
Exit. Oh. I'm gonna go with that one. So uh, we did Android scavenging. I don't think so. We did. Uh, we can do a lot of these actually here. Is this one we're gonna do? Because after that one, we want to go to advance recruitment strategies. Ultimately, the Guardians have only flourished as an offshoot of Lost Hills for so long as a result of our recruitment strategies. Ultimately, we need to reach out to other groups in the wasteland if we wish to expand our number. There were some raiders up in the north, which uh, they could do some education. Yeah. Nice. Very, very nice. Love them thick. If they're not thick, we don't want them. That's right. Words to live by. Technological breakthrough. Um, go. I always do land auction. It's, it's always pretty nice to do. Optimized trading. Yeah, it'd be decent to do as well. Nice. Love it. And uh, is it jackals? Oh, recruiting the vipers. I guess next. The vipers might seem a strange group to reach out to. Uh, to train their young into guardians, what well, with their strange cultist ways, nothing a bit of elbow grease can't fix. The grease being painful discipline, and the elbows being them, being them. Of course, nice. I'm gonna focus a lot on uh, focus, uh, focus grease, support units. Mm, I like the recovery rate. Uh, but I want this one. Reconnaissance expert seems fun. No chief in AB, which makes sense. War and death, trust you, might as well grab that one now. Nice. Good stuff. We do have anti tank already. I might just put anti tank on our guys here, anyways, because it's, it's honestly probably worth it. Hurts our armor just a tad bit. But guys, it's way more piercing. Guess it's even more defense, too. Nice. That uh, so we got all of these ones red, valuable hollow tapes. We found some valuable hollow tapes in an old stash. Days encrypted, but we should be able to pawn it off for some caps, metal cash. An old military site. It's a metal we can repurpose for our own ends. There are a lot of caches and surplus goods here, which could be used to make a simple fortress. Kicking some bad habits. Drugs are expensive this far away from Reno. Let's see what we can do about having our troops kick some of their bad habits. Old raider hideouts. Found some uh, one of the uh, old hideouts of the old raider gang that lived here. Let's clean out their old guns and use them for ourselves. Recruiting the Yakuza. The Yakuza, when they are beaten and working under us, will do well to serve as new recruits. Their strange language will serve as a signaling tool that so that as scouts, they can communicate without the risk of others hearing it. So we got all these ones done. We got a lot of these three as well. Yes, please. Oh my god, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Nice. Um... If we go to war with them now, what is that going to be like? We have a lot of manpower, holy crud. So they immediately start attacking us, which, is, which I'm okay with, I don't really care. Um, Lost Hills, you know what? No. I'm going to say no. Help them out. See what you can do. Yeah, we need demo teams and whatnot next. Because they do have demos and whatnot, and... Oh, restore the Crescent Dunes project. I've read this one before. You do this like through this one. Please go right ahead. Go ahead. War propaganda? Sure. Why not? Stability? Sure. Why not? And over here, we're going to grab this too. Nice. Losses 113 versus 295. Nice. Most of the guards, very good. Good in the Yakuza, yeah. Hot blooded bruiser. Inspirational and pain train. There you go. Scampier's power armor looks good. 
Very good, actually. God dang, are they trying. How much manpower do they really have? 22,000, so we'll be here for a while. I'm good with those guys. Um, let's see. Power station's not bad. War support, manpower. Eh, I'll get the war support next. Why not? And uh, strange robots, kicking bad habits, of course. Wondrous sciences. Here in TV Town, there's a science for some thought, only a dream. We could earn a killing all the treasures here. Flux drive and engines. Flux drift is a special form of production in which the movement of magnetic gases through a concentrated turbine produces vast amounts of energy. Here in TV Town, there's large quantities of unusual engines. Android scavenging. All the living inhabitants of TV Town turn out to be androids. Artificial, strange artificial humanoid robots with glass skin and powerful engines. Well, the act of taking out the town seems to have caused most of them to shut down. We're able to locate a few semi-working robots to scavenge for parts. Culinary robots. It's nice to be able to have robots can cook for you. The previous stars of Care still have plenty of these cookbots on hands at all times. They could help you make meals and deliver them to your house or wherever you were staying. It was a very convenient device. But I'm a human chef, one of the machines protested. Silly, silly machines. Carousel droids. The director of TV Town used to control a swarm of Mr. Gutsy's tasks with defending Carousel. With the better work, we can task these robots to a new role. Automated production. A small but focused concentration of automated factories lingers in the heart of TV Town. It's relatively simple to exchange the blueprints of the machines used to configure what they make. An android skin armor. Oh, exoskeleton armor of special forces. One thing we were able to take was a hardened porcelain skin off of the corpses of the androids. When used as makeshift armor, masks and blades, the skin served just as good as steel. Awesome. But I think I'll end it there. I'll continue with this war off screen. And uh, I'll kind of go from there. So if you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a fat guardian like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as I see what else we can do with the good old guardians. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.